It's time to enter your healthy girl era, and I'm not just talking about eating healthy. Being healthy is more than that. It covers all aspects of us, including mentally and emotionally. It's about implementing healthy habits into your daily life and staying consistent. It's about being 1% better every day and romanticizing the little things in life. It's about truly living life for yourself and making yourself the priority first and having that girl energy. So here's how to build healthy habits. Number one, you want to make a plan, a clear plan of action before you begin any new habits. And you really want to think about your why and also just get really specific because it'll make it that much easier you also want to hold yourself accountable and i would suggest tracking any new habit because when you're tracking a habit you know crossing those things off your list daily it makes you more likely to actually succeed and also recognize your success so that's the third one find rewards that celebrate your success while also supporting your health goals even if every day is a little bit different and i have different things going on like different times i'm waking up i always stick to my habits because truly i now go through these routines like nothing it truly comes natural to me and i just go through the motions because i've built a solid foundation foundation for myself that I look forward to every day and like I said it's just about being disciplined and thinking about your higher self and who you want to become and that's how you'll stay disciplined so hungry and i'm so excited to eat breakfast and part of being in your healthy girl era like i said is not just like physically but for me it's really important to set health goals that you're constantly working on and working towards along with your healthy habits and stuff which obviously i do on a day-to-day -day in my routine and my morning routine and just like my day in general and so i already took my uh ritual symbiotic plus which is a prebiotic postbiotic and probiotic and i actually have one more left and i actually have the subscription now so a new pack is on its way i'm also going to be having the rest of this kombucha which is the synergy gingerade one that i freaking am obsessed with and this is great because this also has lip 9 billion living probiotics like i said for me my health goals is to constantly take care of my gut health especially after i found out that i have celiac disease which it's been a year which is insane so just continuously taking care of my gut health because that's really important and also i personally want to just be my strongest self you know summer is coming up i don't want to be toned i want to be strong and and just feel my best and so for me i want to you know fuel my body with good balanced meals i want to be having more protein which i've just been really really proud of myself because i've been doing that so i'm gonna make a yummy breakfast in a second but i just wanted to say we're doing the dang thing it's time to enter our healthy girl era and like i said it's realistic not everything needs to be super healthy it's also important to be realistic balanced and find things that you genuinely enjoy and you're not forcing yourself to like eat these foods and being healthy is not all about just what you eat it's also mentally emotionally all that type of stuff so cheers I'm gonna finish this kombucha first while I start to make my breakfast. I'm not sure what exactly I want today yet. I went to Whole Foods yesterday because I needed some more milk and then I ended up getting this. So if you're also looking to increase your protein intake, there's so many different ways to do it. Like before I was getting pumpkin seed, but they're out of season right now so I haven't gotten them from Trader Joe's, but that has a lot of protein to add to meals, things like that. But also cottage cheese is a great way to get in protein. This one from the Good Culture brand is good because it has, you know, also active cultures and stuff so it's good for your uh, gut health. They're high in protein, no gums, no no chemical preservatives no added hormones nothing like that and this has 18 grams of protein for one serving it's really really great um, on top of avocado toast i had this yesterday so i think i'm gonna save this for like tomorrow um but i just wanted to share like a high protein tip and a little meal suggestion because i've been loving that and like i said i'm trying to get in protein high protein in every single one of my meals okay so this morning's high protein breakfast we're gonna have the bonzo waffles which i also get from whole foods this is the blueberry protein waffles 10 grams of protein they're made with chickpeas and super freaking yummy the only thing is i ran out of maple syrup so i'm just not gonna have anything on top which is fine so i actually literally don't mind it and i'm gonna put this in the toaster and then i'm also gonna be making the turkey patties that i prep myself so it's not frozen i'm not using anything like that i actually take ground turkey i prep it in a pot i just season it and then i go in and i make myself little like hamburger patties basically so that way it's like i said not really that bad because it's not the frozen ones and amazing for protein obviously Also 
also really trying to be better with my water intake because I feel like there are some days, especially if I'm running errands and stuff, that I find myself not drinking as much water. So that's another goal of mine is to be a little bit better. But my breakfast is ready. Bon appetit. Let's eat and fuel our bodies. I'm going to put on a vlog while I eat. candle going because obviously I cooked and I just want it to not smell like food but it is now time for my latte my favorite part of my morning honestly I'm so excited because I truly love these espresso beans these are the Alfred espresso beans I ordered them online because I was just so curious I know everyone raved about it especially Rachel Ottenry that I follow on YouTube and she says like she loves them she always gets them she also loves the vanilla syrup because in LA they're known for like their vanilla latte ice latte so I'm curious I need to try iced for sure uh, but just not today because it's a little bit chilly and a new healthy habit that I had to get into over the last course of I don't even know how many months was not having coffee for eating or during me eating because I used to have my Nespresso when I did have my Nespresso I used to sometimes drink that while I had breakfast I'm talking like this was during college and stuff and drinking any caffeine before you really like eat anything is not great for your cortisol levels because it spikes them up so I've been really good about having any caffeine after I've eaten I've also been letting my food digest I washed the dishes I was just filming some stories for Instagram and for TikTok I've also drank water and stuff so now is like the perfect time to start making my latte also you guys let me be really careful because if I drop this I would literally cry my mom made this uh, almond gluten-free almond cake it is stunning delicious so freaking good this with my latte yesterday was amazing so having this with my latte this morning i will say i really miss having my croissants with my coffee like i used to the rundown for my latte has not changed in terms of my brown sugar cinnamon obsession so got the cutie little set right here this is under my Amazon storefront under my coffee board. I'll link it below. Where I might, my Amazon storefront is always in my description. So I'm going to prepare my mug first before I start to grind up the espresso. having a little bit more of a slow peaceful morning like an extra slow feel good morning this morning that's why because it is friday i'm gonna sit enjoy have my piece of cake and then i'm gonna get dressed for the day While I'm having my latte, I'm on Instagram writing out my caption for one of my reels that's going to be going up right now. As a content creator, I'm constantly thinking of filming ideas and I'm constantly filming like I, before I made my coffee, I was filming stories like I told you guys. So for me, it's not like I'm hopping on the computer to start my workday. I obviously can start from my phone. So I am doing some work while I have my latte this morning and I'm just posting an Instagram reel like I said because I like to do that in the morning time for the most part. I kind of switch. Follow me on Instagram. It's in the description. Today I'm doing some mat Pilates. This is like a morning Pilates full body workout and it's about 30 minutes long. Got my Adlo yoga mat. Today I'm just wearing some joggers and this little zip up with a sports bra. This is from TikTok shop. It's kind of like a Lululemon dupe. But you guys, spring, summer's around the corner. If you want to be your strongest self, it's time to stay consistent and stay disciplined because honestly, you have to always think about your higher self. When you're trying to think of discipline and stuff, it's all about putting yourself in the shoes of the person you want to become. And the person you want to become is the person who is showing up and doing these things, going through the motions, even on those days that you don't want to. We're getting into movement, even though I'm on that time of the month. I'm pushing through, I'm doing something more chill, not weightlifting, nothing too intense or crazy because I'm also listening to my body. But I also still want to get something in because that always makes me feel good, especially before I get to doing some more work.
Not gonna lie, Pilates has you shaky sometimes. I am about to get on my computer now and do my computer work. I also am probably gonna go live on TikTok and I've been challenging myself to go live more often and just really stepping into my girl boss era too. I know I've been really working hard growing my platforms and obviously I show up every single day and I'm consistent and obviously I do this full time, but there's other things that I wanna get into as well, like digital marketing, digital products, things like that. So I've been going live, I've been really building a community and I just feel like I'm in like my highest self exactly where I'm meant to be and it feels really really good to just feel like everything is aligned so we're in our healthy girl era we're in our boss girl era we are just doing the dang thing and it's really important to just have that good positive mindset of like everything happens for a reason and everything is going to be fine even if there are days where you're not having a good day and you're doubting yourself just remind yourself that it's okay not every day is going to be perfect but you got to keep pushing through believe in yourself and just have that mindset of if you wanted to you would for yourself so if you guys watching this want to do a side hustle want to get into content creation you can it's never too late to start but it's better to start now than keep waiting for that perfect moment that might not come so you kind of have to just put your all into it go for it start it i'm here to help you as well i have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls that i do it's all in my snip feed which is also my description but genuinely whatever you want to do if you want to start something start brainstorming spend time doing that and less of scrolling on social media don't waste time doing things when you can be doing it by building a future that you are passionate about and happy about and you already know that for me staying accountable and staying on top of myself is doing to-do lists and constantly writing out goals so i know we do yearly goals but it's important to set those bigger goals into smaller goals of like action steps to how to get there so i'm constantly working towards my 12 week goals so that each quarter or each 12 weeks i'm making sure that i'm focused and i have action steps to reach those goals i'm always constantly planning looking at my goals staying disciplined staying disciplined is key with that being said i'm hopping on the computer i'm gonna end off this video right here i had a really great peaceful slow morning but it also was a little bit productive i got some work done i got some filming done and i got my movement in so i'm feeling good especially for it being a friday so i hope this video motivated you guys to step into your healthy girl era like i said it's not all about the whole eating healthy it's healthy in multiple ways doing those healthy habits that we said we were going to do and it's all about just feeling good strong confident and we got this so if you stood to the end comment this emoji so it lets me know that you stayed all the way and you are a real one and i really really appreciate you guys and also make sure you guys subscribe we're on the road to 20k